During the spring cleaning, I sold all my heavier setups. Before that, I changed the name of my uh, channel to Ultralight, but in between then and now, I found someone to fish with, and sometimes we will need to fish heavier. And after I sold everything, <laughs> uh, he told me, oh, you need a heavier setup. And another friend of mine recommended me this one. This is a 14 euro rod. You can get it usually for 20. This is a travel rod, choice item, very, very um, uh, quick uh, chipping and timing. Uh, also, the shipping box is very, very good for the price that I pay. The sleeve also looks velvety. You saw the brand. This is the Big Big World uh, Glass Estrellers. I think it's how you pronounce it. They have it in spinning and in casting. Mine is a casting version and they have like three sizes. Uh, today will be different. I will just show you the unboxing up here and I'll go on the table to show you the rod in more detail. Uh, because some of you guys want to see the things uh, up and close and I think also that's a good idea because in here you cannot see the epoxic work guides, uh, real seats, flashing on the plastics, uh, quality of materials, so... So, this is Las Estrellas, up and close. This is a rod that is available in 12 models, divided equally from spinning and casting, and with lengths of 198, 2.1, 2.28, 2.4, 2.58 and 2.7 meters, or 66, 611, 76, 711, 86 or 810. So, fairly good range of models for, I even say coastal fishing, if you want to. The cast weights are 8 to 25 grams on the first two shorter models, so the 198 and 2.1 meters, and 10 to 13 on the rest of the lineup. So about 132 ounces to 7 eighths of an ounce on the 66 and 611, and 3 eighths of an ounce to 1 ounce on the rest of the models for you fellow Americans. All the rods are sold as medium action and they vary from 4 to 5 pieces. Mine is 4, uh, 2.1 meters or 611 and also features nice graphics even though it's an all black rod. In here you can see the real seat, it has some EVA foam. It The nut functions just right, it doesn't have a lot of sloppiness, you don't have flashing on the handle, it's just a nylon simple handle, a bit shiny but very very well put together you don't have any sloppiness on the knob over there the butt section also eva foam in here you can see the epoxy work on the guides it's actually pretty good for this price point i think they will increase the price at some point this is just like a launching price to establish the brand and the guides also feel very smooth they say they have a silicon carbide surface plating on them and i believe and here it's the tip, you have the anti-tangle uh, tip guide and all of the rest are like micro guides. So fairly, fairly cool and you'll have not, not a lot of problems launching line through these guides. Uh, the blank also, it doesn't have any blemishes, at least on the rod that I order and the insertions are pretty cool. In here, a closer look of the graphics, also well put together, no problems no scraping on the graphics no missing parts of the graphics that can happen in here the first guides also feel fairly well put together and again uh, look at the real seat i just put my tattoo in here to see how a all black reel will look on this rod actually there are not a lot of all black reels at, at least on aliexpress that are on nice budget pointed performance other than the, i think the miss lure s but it's actually pretty cool uh the real seat feels comfortable and the grip also feels fairly com uh, comfortable with this small size reel but it should because this is a, a reel that costs i think 10 times more than the rod at least i don't know i think it retails for 180 dollars so 
there's that mine didn't cost that because i got it on aliexpress but overall pretty pretty cool purchase in here the graphics on the butt end section but i'm very eager to test this rod on the sea but until then i will see you guys next time bye